Today's show opens with son of an Afrobeat legend who is an Afrobeat legend in his own right. I speak of no other than Femi Anikula Kokuti. Academy Awards nominated Afrobeat star Femi Kuti clocked 53 years recently. The Bang 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 singer who styled his music after his iconic father fella Nikola Kuti says getting older has changed a lot about his life. I'm quite surprised that I've lived to this age because in my teens I was quite reckless. So at, by the time I arrived 40 I was very appreciative that ah I managed 40 and 50. I'm very grateful at 50 again. If I get to 60, ah, I'll be extremely thankful. You know, I, will, I probably, if I, I won't be surprised because I'm more careful with my, my life these days. Not like when I was a teenager. Teenager, I mean, in those days, we were all over the place. Very, I had a motorcycle, I was very reckless. My friends thought I would have crashed. I was driving a car at 12, you know, taking it to school. Ah. My life was quite reckless, so. and then by the time I was smoking, hey, chai, there is God, though. <laughs> <laughs> to the right now, don't come too fast. 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 Femi Kuti describes his life over the past five decades as being a pot puree of sweet and bitter memories. But he won't trade any of his past experiences for better ones. I probably would not change anything because I believe life is about challenges. I believe life is about overcoming your obstacles. So probably if I change anything, my life would be boring. And I don't really have any regrets. I think even when you have problems, you have to learn how to deal with problems. Life is like that. Uh, I see life in a very different perspective. And I think if we do overcome challenges, the creator, it's, um, the world is built in a way where you have to get ready for the next wave of challenges and that's what makes you a better human being, probably, but this is my kind of thinking. He only just returned from a musical tour of America during which his band bassist absconded. However, Kuti isn't worried as he believes he has a solution around him. I came back from America and two of my musicians ran away. Everybody is going crazy around me. And as the creator we have it, my eldest son now plays musical instruments. So I have a tour in Euro in the UK in three weeks. There is no way I can get visas for anybody at that period of time. So what? My young, my eldest son, we play bass. This is good for me. This is good for him. This is good for PR. This is good for so many things concerning my life. I taught him the sax in like a month. He was nine then, and he played in my band from nine to 12. When I started to see that it was getting in, it getting in, obstructing his studies, I had to stop him. So he had to face his studies. With Made growing up to become a fine young instrumentalist, his father believes his son will not fall for the lure of hip-hop popularity in Nigeria and forget his classical jazz roots. He won't go there. It's not a matter of I can I know where he's going to go. He won't go there. That's not his path. I don't want to say it's too cheap, but he won't go there. Why if he wanted, would you stop it? He probably will collaborate with a lot of people and people will want to collaborate with him but his compositions will definitely not go there. I won't stop him, but I can assure you, I am confident he will not go there. Okay. All right, um, because the training he's getting will not allow him to go there. He's been classically trained. He's going to study jazz in a while. He comes from Fela as a young child. I was playing Fela's music to him. He grew up playing in my band. He understands what his father was doing. I will go there. In 
2012, Femi Kuti officially dissolved his marriage to his former dancer wife, Funke Kuti. In recent times, however, industry watchers suggest the duo are back together, considering the togetherness they show at public events. I read it on uh, Google somewhere that we have secretly come back together. That means we are stealing kisses in corners. That's not, it's not true. We are very, we have managed to overcome our past and we are, we are very close, nearly as close as you could say lovers, because we were lovers. So I'm sure the love is still there. We still uh, look at each other as lovebirds, so to say, but I doubt very much she has a life and I have my life and I don't see where her life will fit into my life or my life will fit into her life. But what we have made clear to each other is that friendship and that bonding we have right now, we have to maintain, not just because of us, but we have a, we have a son that we both love very much. At 53, Femi Kuti feels grateful for life, but he believes he isn't done yet. He is now trying to keep himself healthy because he has bigger dreams he is yet to achieve.